I go to crank up Leonardo, our Thunderbird, our 2005 Thunderbird, and this is what happens. Well, that's not a good sign. So let's go take care of this and see if we can jump it off. Cats in the neighborhood? Dead batteries? Oh, no problem. We're still loving the real world. Today we're in the Thunderbird and since we don't have a garage, we're going to put some covers on the car because cats are roaming the neighborhood and they like these soft convertible tops. Always something it seems. That's why we keep loving the real world. You might be wondering what we use to get all this cat hair off. Well, this is it. If you know a better way of doing this, please leave it in the comments below. But this is what we use to take it from that to this. Anything you see that we used in the video that we purchased from Amazon, we will place links in our descriptions below. So one of the problems is when you hit the trunk button, when the battery's dead, nothing happens. And there's no key to get into the trunk back there. And to be honest, we had this car for a few years before I realized and read on forum the trunk lock is right here in case this happens. And you can see where normally we would have a battery tender in here running. And these are great if you keep them plugged up. They don't work very good if you don't plug them up. So the next thing we got is a Golo and uh, titanium series jump start box, power bank. It'll jump your car off whenever the battery's dead. Comes in a nice little carrying case. And our, our friends at Everything Auto up in Gatlinburg, I saw this, they, they tested it, and I thought, well, I'm gonna give that a try. So far, I've been very, very happy with it. And if I can find it, I'll put a link in the description below. We got it off the uh, old Amazon thing. And uh, be honest with you, I have not charged this in over three months, so I hope it's still good. And it has a little boost button on the side here if you're going to jump a car off. You just mash that boost button. Let's see what happens. So those things right there make you really love the real world. I've ordered some of the solar panels here to help keep Leonardo charged up when we're not using it. That way I don't have to rely on the, the uh, trickle charger to, to keep it powered up all the time. Uh, also ordered one for uh, stripes also. I don't know if anybody out there has used one. We used one on the, well, that's just great. We used one on Panther, our black Ford pickup that we hardly ever drive also, that we need to get back onto that project. But if you don't know, every time your battery goes dead, you kill the lifespan of your battery almost by half. Not a good thing especially the price of these new batteries these days. And uh, so the uh, pickup used to sit on the parking pad out back and there wasn't any electricity out there except for the solar that is into the little house about there. So I got one of these panels for hit. It completely took care of this problem, but there's not that much going on with the that hookup 
on that 96 Ford F-150. So there's not a whole lot of pull on there. Now on the Thunderbird here, there's a, a security system uh, and a few other things that electronically that are always pulling power. So we're going to try this out for a little while and see if that will take care of our problem and we won't have to be jumping it off using our jump box. Not to say that jump box is not great. I just don't want to put the wear and tear on our batteries. It comes with some suction cups to which I'm not sure what you would use them for. Comes with, if your cigarette lighter is always hot, you can just plug it into your cigarette lighter and charge it that way. That's what we're doing with the pickup truck. But this one here, we're going to use the little clamps directly on the battery. And this will just drop out from behind, underneath the uh, car cover once we put it on. And then we'll lay this little panel on the, on the picnic table out here. And we do have the tiles for the picnic table. We just took them out to clean them. And that way when we get ready to use it, all we gotta do is drop them in there and they're nice and clean. So I'll let the car run a little bit. Let's see if the battery actually charged up any. And we'll pop the trunk. Maybe, maybe not, who knows. Ah, oh, that part's working now. So these solar cells are not made to charge a dead battery. They're made to, uh, they're just made to maintain a battery. So, very simple, we just connect the ground to the ground. We'll drop that in there. And you can see on the back of the panel here, you have a blue and a red light. I don't know if you can see that. That means it's actually working. I believe that's what it means. Anyway, let's get out the destructions and see. Blue means you got plenty of sunlight and the panel is receiving sunlight, but not charging. Blue and red means the panel is receiving sunlight and is charging a battery. The battery is connected. If you have a green, blue, and red light, it means the panel is fully charged and the device is stopped charging. So it won't overcharge your batteries. I'm gonna get my little trickle charger that was in the car now, or battery tender. That's what I was trying to think of. It's awful getting old. And take it out. Put this back in. Close the trunk. Believe it or not, that little rubber gasket and this 2005 Thunderbird still good, so that'll keep us from breaking that. And we'll check the panel one more time. It's charging. They give you these C-clamps also. And uh, that's why I'm gonna connect it to the table, keep it from blowing off. Now that Carol's Thunderbird is put to bed, maybe the cats won't bother to hop anymore. Or if they do lay on it, it's not gonna mess up the convertible top. Just to let you know, Carol's doing pretty well. She goes Monday to get her stitches up. And thank you for the thoughts and prayers. So until next time, I hope you're still loving the real world. And watch one of those other videos. We'll talk to you later.
Bye-bye.